It is a project six years in the making with one hope, to protect mm -hmm. your child athlete from the potentially harmful effects of concussions and head impacts. A lot of parents really worry about this. First, they tested the Q collar on hockey and football players, and the results were promising. Then they put the device through its paces with girls' soccer teams, including at Seton High School. I spoke with the director of research at Cincinnati Children's Hospital about what they learned. This is what we're talking about, and it doesn't look very complex. Nope, it's rather simple in design. It's called a Q-collar, and the director of research in the Human Performance Lab at Children's says they're seeing how effective it can be. Over the last number of years, as part of a study, some tri-state high school boys wore the collar in head impact and concussion-prone sports. The collar puts pressure on the jugular, restricting the blood flow leaving the brain, but not the blood flow entering the brain. Creating an artificial airbag for your brain, per se, really? and so the brain can't move and slosh when it gets a head impact. With the boys, they say data showed the collar protected the structure and function of the brain from repeated blows. Then came the question, can this collar device help female athletes? Seton's soccer team was happy to help the researchers find out. If you have a head impact issue in soccer, it can be from headers, it can be from collision, it can be from simply getting, uh, you know, head to head anything with another athlete. So did the collar help the girls? I did experience a concussion and my symptoms were very low and I feel like it helped me feel safer and more protected wearing that collar. So I felt a lot more comfortable out on the field with it on than without it. And data collected seems to back them up. In addition to the collar, the athletes also wore one of these. This is an accelerometer. They'd place it behind their ear and it measured three things, the speed, the magnitude, and the direction of an impact. After running all the numbers, we found that the, the females that wore the collar performed the task with the same level of brain activation as preseason or those that didn't had to work their brain a little bit harder to do the same task. Hmm. So the bottom line, they keep finding protective benefits. They have tested it on about 200 high school athletes so far. That raises the question, when might the Q collar come to market? They are pursuing FDA approval of the device and hope to make it available in 2019. They say to make sports safer. Always a good thing. And so what do you think about all the work done to prevent the effects of concussions to help our, our athletes? Is it enough or should more be done? Nine on your side wants to hear from you. Call the Feedback Friday hotline 513-852-4998. I'll share your thoughts this Friday at six.